We've downloaded the Predator X app from the iOS or the Android stores and we've got it installed on our phone. Once the app's on the phone, we obviously need to set up an account. So your email, name, all that information so that we can get in touch with you and we can sync your vehicles to your account and get all the tunes and files and all that stuff that you're gonna need for your specific applications. So with the app open, we've plugged our OBD dongle into the OBD port under the dash of the truck. We've turned the ignition on without starting the engine and we've got the app opened up. You can see in the top corner, we've got our Bluetooth uh, symbol that's lit green that lets us know that the app is connected to the dongle. And then once we turn the key on, the, the app itself has recognized the vehicle. And we can go into vehicle management here and we can see the VIN number and that it's connected. So we know that our app is now connected to, oops, we're in the DTC menu. We've got uh, the app is connected to our vehicle. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and tune the vehicle. So right here, we're gonna select vehicle tune. You're presented with all of the tune options specific for your vehicle. So this is a 2016 Silverado 2500 HD. This one has the six liter gas engine in it. And these are the tunes we have specific for it. So we've got our 93 octane tune. So in this six liter, it's actually uh, 40 horsepower and 45 foot pound of torque over stock with 93 octane. Our 87 octane tune is 30 horsepower improvement with 30 foot pound of torque. Um, we remove a bunch of the torque management. We extend the wide open throttle shift points, another 500 RPM. They pick up a ton of power and a ton of torque. So this tune in this specific truck can completely change the way this truck daily drives, tows your trailer, whatever it is. Um, so we're gonna start with that 87 octane tune so we don't require to, to run the premium fuel. We're gonna select install. You're gonna get this warning to let you know that we need to download our custom files from our server into your account for the vehicle. So it'll take just a couple of minutes to download that stuff into the app and sync it with your VIN. All right, so we've selected our 87 octane tune. This is a performance tune optimized for the use of E85 and the minimum of 87 octane. We're gonna go ahead and tell it to install and now it's presenting us with our tuning options. And these are all features that we can fine tune specific for our truck. So we take our preloaded calibration and then give you the end user the ability to adjust that stuff so that it's perfect for your truck. So this truck is sitting on a, a mild lift with a little larger tire. So we can go ahead and enter in the new tire size. This will allow our speedometer to be corrected so that our speedo matches our tire size. The one thing to note is that you want to measure that tire height with a, a tape measure. Don't input the actual t size that's on the side of the tire because you'll, ne you'll find that a 35 inch tire, like a 35, 12, 50, 20, isn't actually 35 inches tall when it's mounted and balanced on, and on the truck. So the 35s are actually measured out to be about a 33 and a half, and that will give us our most accurate speedometer. And then you can also go in and kind of fine tune this by checking a GPS speed, fine tune it to get it right on. Change our gear, and ra uh, gear ratio. We can remove our vehicle speed limiter. We can adjust our rev limit. We've got our fan control. So this feature allows you to set uh, the temperature of, of when the cooling fan comes on or off. So if you do a lot of towing, you need that fan on a little bit earlier, we can kind of adjust that. Um, got a couple of options there. Um, we've got idle calibration, so we can adjust all of that stuff. Once we've made the adjustments that we wanna do, you go ahead and select build tune. And now that preloaded calibration is gonna be modified to the tune that you just set up and we can go ahead and tell it to upload to vehicle. It says we're about to tune the vehicle, so we wanna ensure that our battery is fully charged and that we don't leave the vehicle unattended. Once we select okay, you'll see that it's gonna start uploading the tune. We're working through the files being delivered from the smartphone app to the OBD dongle, and then from the dongle to the vehicle's ECM. So depending on your application, the ECM, which specific vehicle we're flashing, this could be anywhere from say a two minute process to a 20 minute process. Every ECM is a little bit different depending on how much file size needs to be transferred from one to the other. All right, so our tune process is complete. The app is telling us that we need to turn off our ignition. I'm gonna turn the ignition off and select okay. It's gonna reset the vehicle 
tune upload is a success. We can go ahead and select done. And now the app has told us that we've got this specific tune installed. Next up, we can go ahead and look at our transmission options. And this is where you'll really notice a difference in a truck application, even the cars, but in a truck that does a lot of towing or, um, and with the extra weight and the larger tires, the trans tuning really makes a big difference. So we've gone ahead and turned our ignition back on and we're gonna go ahead and install our firm shift. And this will change our shift points, converter lockup, really make it a, a lot better daily driver. And then you obviously have all of these adjustable options here as well. We can turn the, the torque management off. Uh, we can go through and change the shift points at, at normal driving, change the shift points at wide open throttle. In this application, we can also adjust the shift pressure. So if you download our pre-calibrated tune and feel like it shifts too, too harsh, too firm, or it's too soft, you can go in and kind of fine tune all of that shift strategy right here from the app before you flash it into the vehicle. So we can adjust uh, all sorts of different shift strategies depending on the driver mode that you're in, if you're in tow haul. We've got all this functionality available to you right here within the Predator X app. So we're not gonna make any adjustments for this specific truck. We're gonna go ahead and build the tune. And then we're gonna go through the same process we just did for the ECM, but now it's going to tune the TCM. So that trans file is ready. We're gonna go ahead and select OK, and it's gonna upload the files and then flash that TCM for us. Once the TCM is complete, you can go out and drive the vehicle. Um, you can test out that new power, see how the new trans shift strategy works. And then we can also use the app at any point to display any of our live data. We can use it for uh, watching a bunch of different PIDs through the app and we'll walk through that process here in a moment. All right, so we've completed the TCM flash. It's telling us to turn our ignition off, remove our key, select OK. It's gonna reset the vehicle. Now we can go ahead and turn our ignition back on without starting the engine. Select OK one more time. Tells us that our tune load was a success. And now we get back to this tune and it shows us which tunes are currently installed in the vehicle. And then we can go back out and we can walk through the app and, and look at a couple of different features within the app itself. So parameters, we can obviously look at our, these are all of the parameters that are specific for this vehicle. We can go into our DTC, so this allows us to read and clear codes. So if you ever have a check engine light that pops up on the dash, you're able to use this app um, to read those codes and help you diagnose any of the issues that are going on. And then we can also select monitor here and we can start adding gauges that we want to be able to watch on the smartphone app while we're driving. So we've got a whole list of different features that we can watch on the vehicle itself. We can watch our mass airflow, see our spark advance, the vehicle speed, engine RPM, coolant temperature. Let's go ahead and add these. It's gonna set it up. So now we've got our engine coolant temperature there that we can monitor and this will update live as we're driving. You can go in and change some of the displays, some of the way that it's um, set up. We've got all sorts of customized options here within the, the vehicle or within the app itself. We can go in and add more features, change all of the layouts, and all of that's easily accessed right here in the app. We're trying to take advantage of the, the smartphone technology that's always in your pocket. We can develop new computers, we can develop new hardware, but with as, as much development that goes into these smartphones, we wanna take advantage of that technology and allow you to use something that you've already got access to. Uh, these are basically extremely smart computers that everybody now has at, within grasp at all times. So the Predator X allows us to leverage that technology, uh, work with the technology in our pre-built calibrations, and really fine tune your driving experience without having to fumble through uh, plugged in devices and cables and uh, all that stuff and computers and laptops to download tunes and, and make changes. Everything can be done right here in the cab of the, the vehicle with your smartphone and our OBD dongle plugged in. Um, please let us know any feedback you've got on the Predator X. We look forward to seeing some of your uh, content, the videos, uh, feedback on social media. Make sure you tag us any videos as you're installing your Predator X. Give us some feedback on how your vehicle runs and uh, enjoy your new Diablo Sport product.